Hi everybody, it's Miss Amy. I'm just checking in and saying hi. I miss you guys so much. Um, I hope you guys are all doing good and doing some fun e-learning activities. Um, today is the last day of our farm unit, so I'm going to read the Little Red Hen to you guys. Um, feel free to listen and check in on the blog whenever. I'm hoping to post some more books over spring break, just because I know a lot of our spring break plans are probably canceled now. Um, but just know that Miss Amy's thinking of you and loves you, okay? So the book that I'm going to read is called The Little Red Hen. That's the title. And the author is Luce. So I got to start over. <laughs> no, that's okay. P the pictures are illustrators by Lucinda McQueen. Um, so she draws the pictures, right? And it looks like we don't have an author. She might be the author and illustrator of this book. Um, so let's get started. All right, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who shared her tiny cottage with a goose, a cat, and a dog. The goose was a gossip. She chatted with the neighbors all day long. The cat was a very vain. She brushed her fur, straightened her whiskers, and polished her claws all day long. The dog was always sleepy. He napped on the front porch swing all day long. The little red hen ended up doing all of the work around the house. She cooked, she cleaned, she washed the clothes. And took out the trash. She mowed the lawn and she raked the leaves. She even did all of the shopping. Sounds like the little red hen is doing everything. One morning on her way to the market, the little red hen found a few grains of wheat. Do you guys remember wheat? What we can turn wheat into from a farm? She put them in, the, in her pocket of her apron. When she got home, she asked for her friends who will plant, who will plant these grains of wheat. Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Hmm, I wonder how this made the little red hen feel that none of her friends would help. Uh oh. Then I will plant them all by myself, said the little red hen. And she did. She did it all by herself because her friends wouldn't help her. When the grains of wheat began to sprout, the little red hen cried, Look! The wheat I planted is coming up. Who will help me take out take care of this in the summer? Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Oh man, her friends are really not helping her out here. Then, I will take care of it all by myself, said the little red hen, and she did. All summer long, she cared for the growing wheat. She made sure that it got enough water and she hoed the weeds out carefully between each row. By the end of the summer, the wheat had grown tall. Who thinks they can remember what wheat turns into? And when it turned from green to gold, she asked her friends, who will help me cut and thrash this wheat? Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the duck. And not I, said the dog. Hmm, are they being good friends? I wonder. They're not helping with much of the 
planting of the crops. Then I will do it all by myself, said the little red hen, and she did. When all of the wheat had been cut and threshed, the little red hen scooped up the wheat into a wheelbarrow and said, this wheat must be ground into flour. Flour, what's flour gonna turn into? Who will help me take it to the mill? Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Oh man, her friends aren't helping with any of the steps. So, the little red hen said, I will take it all by myself. And she did. The miller ground the wheat into flour and put it into a bag for the little red hen. Then, all by herself, she pushed the bag home in the wheelbarrow. That must have been a lot of work for her to do all of these by herself. Once the once cool fall morning, not many days later, the little red hen got up early and said, today would be a perfect day to bake some bread. Wheat turns into bread. Who will help me bake a loaf of bread with the flour I bought from the mill? What do you think the animal said? Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. And not I, said the duck. So, then I will do it all by myself, said the little red hen, and she did. She mixed the flour with milk and eggs and butter and salt. Those are her ingredients. She kneaded the dough and she shaped it into a nice plump loaf. Then she put the loaf in the oven and watched it as it baked. The smell of the baking bread soon filled the air. It smelled so delicious that the goose stopped chatting, the cat stopped brushing, and the dog stopped napping. They smelled the fresh bread. What do you think is gonna happen now once they smell this bread? One by one, they came into the kitchen. When the little red hen took the freshly baked loaf of bread out of the oven, she said, Who will help me eat the bread? Oh, I will, said the goose. And I will, said the cat. And I will, said the dog. You will, said the little red hen. Hmm, do you think it's fair for the animals to eat the bread when they didn't help make any of it? Who planted the wheat and took care of it. I did. Who cut the wheat? Who threshed it and took it to the mill? I did. Who brought the flour home and baked this loaf of bread? I did. I did it all by myself. Now I'm going to eat it all by myself. And that is exactly what she did. The end. So the lesson to be learned here is none of the little red hen's friends helped her bake the bread to help her with any of the steps. And in the end, all the animals wanted to eat it, but the little red hen said, you didn't help me, so why should you eat it? So it's good to remember to be a good friend, do some baking at home. Maybe you can even bake some bread and know that Miss Amy misses and loves you.